All right, real quick tutorial for you today. We're gonna jump into DaVinci Resolve. I'm gonna show you how to edit multiple audio tracks at the same time using a bus. If you don't know what a bus is, stick around. We're about to find out. So here's how we're gonna do this. We're gonna jump into DaVinci Resolve. I'm gonna show you how to do everything. And then if you wanna stick around and learn why this is so important, we'll be going over all of that afterwards. For now, let's dive into DaVinci Resolve. I've got a couple of clips here. This is just me reading some lines from my favorite editing book. It's called In the Blink of an Eye by Walter Murch. I will have it linked below. I highly recommend it. Uh, yeah, so let's let's go ahead. We're gonna just, we don't need to do anything in the edit page. Let's just dive into the Fairlight page. And then the first thing that we're gonna do is go over to the Fairlight in the top menu and we're gonna hit Bus Format. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down and we're gonna click add bus. Now we've created a bus and what a bus is, it's basically a parent track that is going to control multiple other tracks. I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. For now, just to keep things organized, let's go ahead and change the color of this bus to orange and we'll go ahead and click OK. And now if we come over here and we expand our mixer just a little bit, You'll see we've got audio one, audio two, bus one, and bus two. But we're not done. We're not quite ready to edit yet. Next thing we need to do is tell DaVinci Resolve that we want bus two to control audio one and audio two. To do that, we need to come back up to this top menu, hit Fairlight, go to bus assign. Now here in the bus assign window, we've got our bus one send, bus one out, bus two send, and bus two out. And then down here, we've got audio one, audio two, bus one, and bus two. Now, I could do a full detailed, more advanced tutorial about how to use buses and how to use the send and the out, but today we're just gonna do the beginner friendly, this is how you edit multiple audio tracks at the same time type of deal. If you want the more advanced tutorial, just let me know in the comments and I'll put it on the list. All right, let's assign these tracks to bus two out. First thing we wanna do is get them out of bus one out. Bus one is our main track. So let's go ahead and select bus one out. And we're going to click on audio one to remove it, audio two to remove it. And then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna click on bus two to add it to our main track. Next thing we wanna do is click on bus two out and we're gonna come down and we're gonna click on audio one to add it and audio two to add that. And then we can come down and hit close. And now anything that I do to bus two is going to affect the audio from audio one and audio two. Let me show you what I mean. Let's go ahead and play a little bit of this clip so you can hear the original audio oh. had increased and the mechanical number had proportionately decreased. In 1995, no digitally edited film had yet won an Oscar. And now let's come over to our EQ and open that up. And we're just gonna do something super drastic. We're gonna grab our EQ. We're gonna grab band four, bring it all the way down and we're gonna make it as wide as we can. Now let's go back and listen again. And you can hear the difference has uh, it's a big difference and it's affected audio one and audio two. And the mechanical number had proportionately decreased. In 1995, no digitally edited film. And that's it. You can add effects to the bus. You can use the EQ. You can use the dynamics. You can do whatever you want to that bus. And it's going to affect all of the audio in the tracks that you assign to that bus. Now I'm about to go over why this is so important and where you would use this. But first I need to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Puget Systems. Puget Systems builds custom PCs for editors, gamers, engineers, you name it. And the best part about them is their PCs are 100% custom made for you. And the process is super easy. Simply hop on a call with Puget Systems, tell them about your workflow and what you need your computer to do for you, and they'll get to work designing a system that's tailor-made for your needs. I've been using my Puget build for about nine months now, and I gotta say, it was a total game changer. Render speeds are off the charts. It does everything that I needed to do. It's 
it's perfect. So if you're a gamer or a video editor like me or an engineer or whatever, and you're looking for a PC that's gonna do exactly what you need it to do when you need it to do it, then click the link in the description and sign up for a free call with Puget Systems today. Those guys are super knowledgeable, super awesome, and they'll get you started on the right foot. All right, let's talk about buses, why they're so important, when you would use them, all that stuff. First, why are they so important? And quite simply, time and organization. When you end up with a project that has 25 different audio tracks and you're trying to get a good mix, it can be really, really difficult to work with a whole bunch of different tracks. But when you can take some of those tracks, like all of the dialogue that was recorded in the same location with the same microphone or all of the sound effects for a particular scene, and you can add them to a bus so you can just control them with one slider, it makes things super, super easy. I use buses in every single DaVinci Resolve tutorial that I make. I always have two audio tracks, sometimes more, for my dialogue so I can do my little J and L cuts. And then when I go into post, I just add those tracks to a bus and then I can just edit all of my dialogue audio at the same time. But dialogue isn't the only place where you could use that. Let's say you've got a scene, maybe there's a car chase or something. You got a whole bunch of sound effects and a whole bunch of Foley. Maybe you got seven, eight, nine, 10 tracks just of sound design for that car chase and it's all mixed together beautifully. But then when you add the dialogue in or when you add the music in, it's the, the levels aren't quite right. You can add all 10 of those tracks that have your sound effects and your Foley in them and then you can just use that one slider in the bus to make sure everything is mixed correctly. And the best part is if you happen to create a bus and use effects that you're gonna use over and over and over again, like I do for my DaVinci Resolve tutorials, then you can actually create presets for that bus. If you wanna learn more about audio presets as well as a few other workflow hacks in DaVinci Resolve, click here. And for more tools, tips, and tricks that'll make you a better video editor, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.